Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number hmm, 153. It's sat uh, Friday. <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead of myself already. It's Friday, end of the week for the normal folks. For us uh, construction workers, we've got one more day. Um, so today, uh, continue with business as normal. Uh, the roofers will be here momentarily. Uh, the painters are out here on the front and on the inside. They're starting to put in the um, the rough build for the countertops in the kitchen, the main kitchen that they roughed done yesterday, just to get the uh, the mock up of what it was supposed to look like. Today they're going to start. They're starting to cut the um, concrete on the side walls, and they're going to start building those uh, bottom frames, uh, same as they did for the dirty kitchen yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, other than that, the uh, the next big thing that they're doing as well is the uh, septic tank. Uh, today they are filling in the uh, four columns, uh, the, the, the four posts on the corners, and they're gonna start building the, they call them bigot, the bond beams that are going across the top of all of those walls uh, to bond them all together. So um, let's go ahead and watch where everybody's at and let's get started. first things first the uh, painters are here underneath the tarps staying out of the sun they are doing body filling work as if you were on an automotive uh, they're using the uh, two-part epoxies and filling in the holes um, all the all the openings on the metal and then coming back and sanding it down getting it prepped for the next phase so that's Mr. Ricky and Mr. Junior doing, taking care of that. Over here on the corner, up on the scaffolding is Mr. Carlito. Uh, he is going around to all of the downspouts and wrapping them with a uh, color matching uh, epoxy sealant uh, on the outside, just as additional uh, safeguard uh, to protect from leaking on the outside there. Or having any of the water get out just in case the uh, PVC glue uh, cement doesn't hold it is just a uh, an extra not necessarily required but a, it's a nice uh, confidence booster all right let's go take a look inside see where folks are working at inside this morning as I mentioned mr. Allen and mr. Um, Alex have been working on the uh, Wow see all the dust Whew man that's what happens when you start first thing in the morning and the first thing you do is a lot of grinding on the concrete so this is where the uh, shelving is going to go or the base is going to go for our uh, kitchen countertop down this side remember yesterday's video they had everything all roughed in with the cocoa lumber uh, today they're going to cut it out chip it out um, I would suspect they're going to start building the actual frames and uh, may even pour concrete on it, uh, the countertop, by the end of today. We will have to watch and see, and as, you, as I find out, you will find out. All right, let's see what else has happened back here. Coming into the guest side of the house. I know I saw Mr. Jojo back there earlier. He is, or he has already started putting in the base here on the um, bay windows. This is still rough, they're not finished yet. Um, this is what they're gonna finish this up uh, to be able to put a tile finish over the top of it. So they're raising that uh, base level up just a little bit on both sides of the bay window. All right. And the other thing going on inside the house, I'm get my exercise in this morning, I'm going up and down the stairs. <clears throat> Mr. Wilson up here has found a nice quiet shady spot and he is uh, skim coating all the walls so he's working his way around the media room this is where he started at yesterday okay so he's gonna continue working in here and the rest of the way around all right in here in the dirty kitchen um, I suspect Mr. Joel is going to be doing plaster coating. As you can see, he's already got up the uh, forms 
so he knows how thick to make the plaster coat and that's going to cover and, and pretty up this side here same thing on this side they've already chipped out the uh the excess so that it is straight up and down on this side this is where the oven is going to slide in so we've got a 90 centimeter oven that's going to go in here a full range so it's um oven a well, freestanding oven stove and we will have a hood up here at the top as well uh, with lots of ventilation all right let's go see what all the noise is out in the garage so they're out here they're starting to chip away at some of the old concrete and cement that's on the floor start spreading it around they're going to use that for base course uh, when they start leveling this concrete out here in the garage um, if you can see the string line down here that's going to be the top of floor level <clears throat> so it's going to be a two inch drop from the uh, inside floor from the inside of the house two inch drop out and do a one in, uh, a one inch drop down to the other end and then out here on this end they've uh, string lined it where it's going to meet up with the the wall and then from here it's going to do it's going to do a gradual slope from this nail all the way out to the, the gutter on the street all right so that's where you see all the noise and the racket and Anai Bacal, Mr. Trucks is back in business still chipping out where the uh all the conduits going to come in for the switches from the top all right that's uh Oh, one more thing, the septic. Get you out of the out of the noise. Over here in the septic tank. Mr. Red Horse, Mr. Ben, and Mr. Jericho are getting ready to start building the uh, rebar that's gonna go along the out top of all of these walls. And that is they call it a bigot. So the word is bigot, B-I-G-A, bigot. Um, that's a top bond beam, so that's what they're working on here. Uh, they will be working on most of this, uh, most of the day they'll get that all formed up. Once it's all formed up, they may pour uh, this afternoon or they may say all the concrete for tomorrow. We'll have to uh, watch and see. Stay with us. Uh, I stand corrected already. Go figure. First thing in the morning. See what I get for predicting things first thing in the morning. Main business today is not bigot. Today's business is Palitada. So we're going to do plaster coating on the inside of all of these walls. <coughs> so they're going to make sure that they're all smooth coated. All right, so we're moving quickly here. We've already getting started with the uh, palitada or the uh, plaster coat. One wall is already complete in both sections. So Mr. Ben and Mr. Jer Jericho are working quickly in these uh, small confined spaces. Put the, put the uh, plaster coat on and working it in. So the guys are continuing with the uh, roof installation. Uh, this is from inside of the master suite here, master bedroom. So they're on the south, uh, the west side of the house. Um, they're continuing with the piece coming across from the media room and now working on the, the, the piece where it comes from the hip roof out. And this is the, the big hip roof that goes over the top of the uh, master bedroom. So that's where they're working at this morning. And they are fabricating the valley, uh, valley gutters to make sure that uh, we've got all the, ex uh, all the places covered. Mr. Jericho and Mr. Ben and the other side are still working on the uh, plaster coating here in the septic tank. So once they built the, the walls, this is what it looks like first. Second hand, they're coming through it, doing a thin plaster coat over the top. You're going to get this all thickened up, uh, put a good protection coat over the, um, over the hollow blocks. All right, we uh, have the CCTV and cable installation guys here today. Um, they're just doing the uh, cable install at the moment, just uh, running, pre-running a lot of the wires, uh, all the coax uh, for throughout the house. 
so that when we do get ready and we do have cable TV in the house, all we gotta do is plug it in at each, uh, each location. So in a bedroom or even here in the living room, we're gonna have a dual outlet like this. Um, these are several feet up off of the ground. So these are behind where the TVs are to be located. One's going to be cable and one's going to be ethernet. Uh, these guys are taking care of both of that. Out here in uh, here in Angeles City, we'll catch up to the guy here. This is the name of the company it's called Tech Vision ICT Solutions. Kind of hard to catch them when they're running around. <laughs> Mr. Alex and Mr. Uh, Allen are moving quickly on this uh, kitchen countertop. So this is the, the part that's next to the where the refrigerator is going to be. And then we've got a small piece here. The rest of this is going to be uh, done. The, the extension that we showed yesterday is going to be done out to here about a, a meter and a half. That is going to be all uh, marine plywood. So we've got this one all smoothed up, ready to go. And he's also been working the one that's over here underneath um, beside the oven. Okay.
guys are busy putting in the floor on all three chambers. You see a little bit of the one over here too. All three chambers have a floor in the bottom. Hmm. So when it gets done, the leaching chamber is just water. It should be all gray water that ends up exiting the, the septic tank. So it goes digestion one, digestion two, leaching three. Right. And that's how that works. Guys, y'all want to talk about a hard job? These guys are trying to chip out the uh, the old one bag mixer, and we're doing it all day by hand. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for a jackhammer. Tough job. Tough job. Well, that's looking good there, Mr. Chunks. That's all the uh, conduit raceways coming back for the home run for the switches. Switches on top, outlets on bottom, and one big pipe on the end is going to be the service line going out to the connection pole with the, what's that again, Wes? That's a weather head. All right. Here in the uh, main kitchen, they've already poured the countertop for this piece, and they are pouring the base for the breakfast bar. So we're gonna have a spot here. We're gonna come out and then up here, the breakfast bar. Gonna look like this when it's all done, except that it's all one piece. No, no step out. So this is all one section right down and then we'll have the big the, the step up for the breakfast bar it's gonna be nice galing galing all right get some more exercise in let's go upstairs and see what mr wilson has been working on most of the day see how far he's gotten with his uh skin coating mr wilson's a very lonely man up here working all day by himself <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Sift out the big pieces and yeah, let's go look at the projection screen. I told you uh, yesterday, sir. Uh huh. Super fine. Yeah, super fine. Oh yeah, nice. It's getting there. Looking good. I might be able to use just a plain wall for a screen. Hopes. That'd be nice. And our uh, roofing material has, as you've seen on the drone, is working its way around. They're uh, starting to catch up on the corners now. So they got the corners left. We've got a little bit of the hardy flooring up here. I did check on some of the standards. Um, I know it was brought up and, and the common um, practice for floor decking is three quarter inch plywood. Using those methods that the three quarter inch plywood is called out specifically for 24 inch on center. I've read in several locations to where if you go down to a 16 on inch center, 16 inch on center spacing for your studs, which we've got here is 16, on, 16 inch on center, that you can then go down to a uh, 12 millimeter board or a half inch board, which is what we've done here. Um, again, this is only for dry goods storage. Um, it's gonna be, you know, mostly boxes and whatever, me on rare occasions. So I believe this will be sufficient all right here in the bedroom two our bay window has the finishing done for the top here so this is where they're going to end up finishing this with a little bit of um tile work let's take a look at the one for the laboratory 
and it looks pretty much the same. Notice they did leave a rough finish in the middle because this will be tile, so they gotta have something for the tile adhesive to adhere to. And in here we've got the, uh, the base is just about finished. That was uh, very quickly completed. That took less than like five minutes, honestly. Once they started pouring treat, we've got a good base down there. And on top of the base, they're gonna build up the rest of this uh, breakfast bar with marine plywood. Um, basically meaning uh, pressure treated plywood that's been uh, ready to go a little bit more uh, water resistant. Now that's a real jackhammer. Sick paw! Sick paw! <laughs> real jackhammer there, huh? See? Manual jackhammer. We're just gonna call you Jack. Jojo, forget Jojo, it's Jack. Your name is now Jack. <laughs> All right, folks, it's the end of Friday afternoon. We got one dirty kitchen countertops almost done. We got the beginnings for the main kitchen countertop going. And the CCTV guys were here today running the cable for the cable television and some of the wiring for um, some of the CCTV cameras where those are gonna be located. Uh, my apologies, I will not show those for privacy uh, measures so um, <laughs> sorry um, uh, the rest of it up here on top if you look over my head the roofers are still going at it we are down to now working on these smaller sections um, so we're we're getting close to wrapping this puppy up um, fingers crossed maybe tomorrow we'll see <laughs> we'll see um, so if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank God it's Friday.